The range of the heights of female students in a certain class is 13.2 inches. So let's make that range right here. Here are the females, uh, for the females, and the shortest females there, the tallest female there is there, and our total range is 13.2 inches. Now the range for the males is 15.4 inches, and I'm just going to draw this to the right, just because the males are a little bit taller, I assume. So we're going to begin for males. Here's the shortest male. Here's the tallest male. Okay, their range again is 15.4 inches. So we'll write that right here. Now we have to go through each one of these statements and figure out which one is sufficient to give us enough information to determine the ranges of all the heights. That is from shortest female all the way up to the tallest male. So again, I've drawn it like this here with the males a little bit to the right. That's just my assumption that the males are a little bit taller, but we're going to see in a minute how this will play out and allow us to figure out which one is sufficient, which one is not sufficient. So we're going to start with A. The tallest male student in the class is 5.8 inches taller than the tallest female student. So here's the tallest male. So we know from this point on down, we have 5.8 inches. Therefore, the range is ST, which is 13.2 plus 5.8 inches. So this will give us enough information. So let's circle that. Now we go to B. The median height of the male students in the class is 1.1 inches greater than the median height of the female students in the class. So this is B. So what's going on here? Well, let's assume that the median, just look at the females, is right there. And the median, the males, therefore, is right about here. Let's actually move that over a little bit. There we go. It's more, more accurate. So median, 1.1 inches greater. Now, do we know? You're already probably maybe picking up on, well, we can just move these over, can't we? Just the way I did here. Second goes as long as they're about 1.1 inches apart, the median can move. The median can move because, in general, if we have a range here, you could have all of the students, most of the students down here, and just maybe a couple of tall ones here, and then the median is going to be someone down here. The median just means the middle. It doesn't mean the middle of this graph, but it means the middle in terms of the number of students. So if we had, for instance, let's just say that we had, I was going to put five feet there. That would give us some large, well, actually that makes sense, five feet for females. You have the smallest. So five feet. And so let's just say we have a bunch of five foot females and then one really tall basketball player female who's over six feet tall. The median would still just be five feet. So in the case here though, we're somewhere, let's just assume we're in the middle, we're around five foot six right here, Oops, five foot six. And the males, 1.1 inches taller, do we know exactly how much the range is? No, because now the median here for females could shift over here. Maybe we're at five foot nine, the males are at five foot 10, but because it's shifting, we don't actually know the range from the shortest female to the tallest male because it's open to interpretation. The median, again, doesn't mean the middle, but it can be sliding along these two. We still don't really know the relative position of this line up here to this line down there. So out with B. Now with C, we have the average height of the male students in the class is 4.6 inches greater than the average height of the female students in the class. So again, we have this difference, but now we're going for the average if you take all of them. But imagine that they were mostly five foot, except for one that was six foot tall. So then the average would be maybe somewhere down here, and the male would be 4.4 inches greater. But even then, we still don't know the range from all the way for the shortest female, all the way up here to the tallest female. Why? Because that average can shift. Again, you're, the average could be way up here, and the difference is 4.4 between these two, but do we actually know anything about the really shortest, shortest of the female here? Maybe she's really small, and then we have a bunch of tall people up here, and it just brings the average up here. We just don't really know this absolute range to say, here is shortest female, there is the tallest male. It just doesn't give us enough information. So the answer again is A.